ever join live, we hope that you go back and rewatch or re-listen if you want. We're trying to make some options, right, for listening on different ways like Facebook. Uh, there's Jeff Lewis Obsessed there. There's a YouTube channel now. We hope to have a podcast very soon, a website. Anyway, so manifest it all. Send us good energy. We've got lots of big ideas, right, Kelly? We do. We do. Speaking of big ideas, so the biggest one I can think of. Someone's going to BravoCon. <laughs> Who? <laughs> so excited. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited you're going to join me and Kim. I am. And I'm giving a special shout out to Kim that made this whole thing happen. So Kim, thank you so much. Um, she's amazing. You know what she said? She goes, oh my gosh, you're so tall too. Cause I'm like five <laughs> ten, like five eight. And she said, I'm only like four eleven. And I was like, that's all right, we'll carry you. Oh, that would be so fun. Carry her down uh, Times Square or Manhattan it's in front of the Javits Center. The baby bajorns that you put people in. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be so cute. Kim, are you up for that? I somehow think she would be okay with that. If we got her a drink or two, I think she'd be okay with uh, that. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, I'm so excited. We are going to have so much fun. There's so much going on even outside of BravoCon. Like yeah. all these meetups and Bravo, Bravo and Blaze is hosting someone. Your Moms Are Watching is hosting something. Uh, there's a Bravo Facebook group that's hosting some stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, and that's just the beginning. I think lots of people right. and podcasters and so influencers and all that jazz are probably planning things that will be announced very soon. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello, tight awesome. white. Mr. Bull. <laughs> tight white pants. Mr. I don't Bull. think he heard your news. Do you want to tell him? Chef Stu, I'm going to BravoCon. <laughs> I'm you know, so excited. I didn't realize that MJ's going to be there. I didn't know she was going to be there. Well, she's not really talking about her show that they're filming, but she did say um, something about they will definitely be there, her and Gigi and Reza. And I just have to assume she's filming right now, but. Are there. Um, oh, thank you. I don't, I don't know if she's going to announce something. What I heard Jeff say today when he just said flat out, look, I know you're filming. And she just kind of, she didn't deny it, right? I feel she, when you have an announcement, that means like, you're not going to announce that you're not going to do it. So the obvious conclusion is that you're announcing because something's coming out. Yeah, I mean, she is definitely going to be at BravoCon. I don't remember the official listing, how they're listed. You know, it usually says a show, and even some people say things. It says like legends of, uh, legends of housewives or something like that that'll be oh. there. Yeah. Um, and I think there's only one of season two of Real Housewives Ultimate Girl Trip that's not on the list. I think seven are listed. There must be a holdout, or maybe they have a serious conflict with their schedule. I'm not sure. Just so I understand, so is BravoCon like a convention where you guys all meet together and celebrate and then go to different panels to uh, different Bravo celebrities? Don't know, because I didn't go in 2019. Uh. It sounds like we, a few weeks before, we will get an itinerary. Okay. Because they're probably working deals and yeah. making, figuring out what rooms people will be in. It sounds Funny. to me like we'll be told things and then you get to choose where you want to go yeah okay yeah because i was thinking if it's not till october 14th there's a lot of wiggle room for them to do all kinds of changing stuff for sure i saw a blind item that there was ground shaking announcement at BravoCon. oh my gosh no but idea the, but the blind item on bravo and cocktails or where was it and we can go investigate after yeah you... for sure Matter of fact, I think we'll be meeting Bravo. Oh, Bravo and Cocktails is anonymous, so we don't know. Oh. And, um, I hope not. I would, well, you know what? He does so much. I mean, he's on the radio. He does watch what, those things are like daily. Watch what happens live is if he needs to step down because he has two kids, I get it. 
okay, damn you, or whatever that line yeah. is. Yeah. I'll check it out. I don't know. I mean, I do, like other people have said, I do like the idea of him and John doing four days a week on Radio Andy of one hour versus yeah. two days and two hours. Yeah. And of yeah. course, we've all heard the blind item about Jeff Lewis having his own radio channel. Right. And we don't know any truth to that. Um, I did have the girl try to look into it more. She and because she said she talked about it on a podcast, but I never really heard it. So. Yeah, we listened and didn't hear it. And plus, yeah. I think that having Jackie on was also kind of a test maybe for Jeff Lewis of having his own channel and having viable guests on there. So maybe. So many people have given us, like, the whole lineup. They've got it down with Chef Stu having a show, with Doug having a cooking show, all these chumps having their own show. Um, Megan have a design show. I yeah. think I've said before, Alyssa and Jameson should have a show similar to Here's What Happens Live. Yes. About, watch what happens, about the producer side of things. Mm -hmm. I think there's so many good avenues. And, of course... I would love for Jeff to be on two hours. I think even 90 minutes would be great. Him have two different sets of guests almost. Yes, because like we said, they I mean, they hardly ever do. They're just busy. I do you want to answer that question? I haven't heard anything either. I haven't heard any news from Jackie yet. Um, I don't know. I've... When is this coming? October or September, Jeff? I've always heard October, but I don't know any details, of course. So I think there's just a lot of things in play. Hopefully she yeah. deserves it. I love Jackie. Yeah, I think it went well. I think the first episode, she was a little bit nervous. I think it got great from there. I love her Instagram. I love her podcast. So anyways, yeah. a show hosted by little people would be great too. Little, oh my gosh, little people? <laughs> Jeff, would, Jeff would never pay attention. He would be so into the guest if he had a little person on. I don't think he could pay attention and ask them questions, could he? Right. Exactly. No, he <laughs> questions that were inappropriate. <laughs> Which I would love. I'm right. I love a good inappropriate question. Speaking of inappropriate, oh my gosh, the show today was uh, Mercedes Javid and Jack, uh, Zach Noe Towers. Love them together. They're great together. They yeah. Well. They do. But it starts off with us hearing another uh, episode of TMI, which I love, about Jeff cutting his penis or balls. We don't even know which. You know, as a, a person that also has to shave down there, it hurts when, you know what I mean? It's so it burns. Sad. It burns, and anytime it gets wet, and I was like, I'm gonna, it must not have been on his balls, because I feel like, did he say that the person could see the owie or no? Um, I don't know. It just wouldn't stop bleeding. It was bleeding through his underwear, which we know the man has gone through so many new pairs of underwear with this UTI situation. It's insane. And I think he wears tidy whities so they're not even like he can reuse them and wash them. I think once you get blood and tidy whities they're out, right? Oh, yeah. He's done with those chonies. Um, I just think, like, have you ever, like, I'm sure you have when you cut yourself. It's, like, so painful, and it turns white, and then all of a sudden the blood comes. <clears throat> Can you imagine a little, like, Monroe Band-Aid on it? <laughs> and he has to go to see the doctor? Yes. I, like a little Barbie Band-Aid on it? Yeah, he would. He would wear it. He would wear it. Hey, if you're bleeding, I mean, at one point, he literally had to send Shane to just go start the show. Because, I mean, or not start the show, but go probably meet the guests, right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was crazy. Okay, what did you think of MJ not being all that happy with her birthday? I think she's honest, you know, I think yeah. if I have a birthday and I had a young child, I would want my husband to do a family thing, but also take me out for a date of just him and I. And I think that's probably what she missed, just some one-on-one -on -one time with Tommy making her special. Or but maybe she wanted like a party because she knows her mother can come into town and watch the baby ch champ. So yeah, I just think she wanted something bigger and listening to Tommy sing for an hour and a half. Um, I can't even, I was like, what would he listen to? I was like, Bruce Springsteen, heavy uh, metal. Don't you think Bruce Springsteen, a uh, deaf leopard? Um, mm, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I wouldn't like that either. I'm sure he has, yeah. a but still, you well, it just, you just need time away from your kid, don't you think? You need no. an adult night out. Yeah. 
she needed an adult night out. But if you don't say those things and expect somebody to be a mind reader, which I used to do, then they're going to fall a fail. So you have, like Jeff tells Stu, this is what I want. This is what I expect. So that his yeah. feelings, so you can't have expectations if you don't tell somebody what you want and need. But Boom. did you hear, did you hear our big boy, Jeff? He even asked her. Did you tell him you don't want to listen to his music? You want to. He is learning so much from Dr. Judy and Dr. Donna. What's it with chefs do? Eudaimonia. We'll go hug Eudaimonia. Eudaimonia. Yeah, I saw um, Dr. Donna put up a quote on Instagram, and I was like, this is perfect for Jeff. Hopefully he reads it. I know. I really like her Instagram also. I follow her too. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. What do y'all think is appropriate for Jeff to send to this neighbor that got pistol whipped and everything? Uh, what are well, some good ideas? I think flowers that first day when Megan said it, just flowers and just like a note that says, I'm so sorry that happened. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm going to watch the tapes for you. <laughs> but I loved all the options that they had for him. Like, a um, a hot man, a hot a hot security guard or something and Shane says oh send one to me too yes of course yes back saying quiet today they told him to tone it down I think that you know I think the one thing sometimes Jeff does that I think he needs to get better at he doesn't always introduce the guest right at the beginning it's like or I have an hour and he just goes so we don't hear that Zach's there or in there the, the proper intro. Well, I think he always says we're joined by because, you know, yes. he always but says I, their names. But if somebody's new, they may not know that Zach Noe Towers is a comedian, podcaster, because that's right. kind of his main gigs. I love that he was not downplaying, but he seemed very impressed by the amount of shows that Zach Noe Towers does. And I don't even know if he always sells them out. But the fact that he sells a lot of tickets to all of his shows, that's amazing. Absolutely. Like, he's definitely... I wouldn't even call him an up and comer. I would say he is bam. He is there. He's is headline. There. He's a headliner, baby. Headliner, baby. And I was like, Jeff, what do you not understand? At Burbank, we had a host. We had what was the second one? Uh, Jay Leno. I know, but not a facilitator. What was the name? Host. Whatever. And then yeah. Main oh, host. a beginning, like a, an opening act, comedian, yeah. and then the headliner. Yeah. yeah. And I was like. What was that Burbank? Even the Burbank show, um, Julie and Brandy were kind of the hosts, sort yep. of. And then Jay Leno was the opening act of sorts. And then, of course, all the chumps and Jeff were the main attraction. But don't you remember the actual host was that woman? And went on for, like, too long, they said. I don't know. Like, it cut into Jay's time. Or, or Jay had to go long because that first person went long. I do remember that. I do remember that. And smell like poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the back of the thing. That was funny. Okay. One of the best things that I remember about today. I mean, there were so many. I love Zach and I love Mercedes. Uh, but Zach saying that housewives should play in movie theaters. Yeah. Why best not? idea ever. Even People if you only did the reunion shows. Oh my God. I would totally go to that. Have a cocktail. Sit with your friends. Record, they should tape BravoCon. People would go to that too that could not go get tickets, right? I was already talking with someone about that. And I was like, even if they didn't show you everything, because you got to be enticed to fly or go to New York City, right. have a hotel, buy your ticket and all that. But if they did, did snippets or like a, a of something and sold it on like the WWE wrestlers that they do, and people would sit around with their friends, Yes, I right. like on a Saturday night. Yeah, I think that would be fun. They might be missing the boat on that. I don't know. What uh, my favorite, like I always lo love to listen Hi, to Murphy. Uh, Jeff criticisms, like what people call him, the fans. And I think my funniest and favorite was today, a sweaty farm animal. Oh my gosh. Why would someone call him that? Did he look, is it, are they talking about the picture of him and Stu on their date? At One Republic. And I didn't know this, but I actually looked it up. Someone had said something before on the show about, like, if you get Botox, she looks shiny. So apparently, and I, <laughs> read that comment from Orphe. Coming to you live. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Can you have a check? 
get in my name, please? Shout out, Red Lobster, Cheddar Biscuits. <laughs> Anyways, when you get Botox, something about the way it flattens out your face, it makes it so that there's a shine that's not really there. Does he get Botox? Is he getting Botox I, right now? I think it's been a while. So I think maybe it was just, it was hot and humid on Friday in Anaheim. I'm sure they're like sitting outside. He got a little bit of glow. He didn't look like a sweaty farm animal. I just thought it was fun. <laughs> I just love that it's two weekends in a row that they posted or Stu has posted a date night picture of them. I love that. They're kind of give us an insight to their weekend, which normally we go two full days. You know, Jeff's social manager, what's the guy's name? Kian? He yeah. hasn't put up personal stuff. And I'm sure, ooh, I don't know, is Shane buying MJ's condo? <gasps> yeah, that before. Is that why they would be going to look at it today? I thought she meant for her to buy a condo, and I kind of thought, they have a house in Calabasas, don't they? Um, last time MJ was on, Jeff said to him something along the lines of, um, oh, you didn't want to sell he your He said, condo? can I buy it? And he, he was said, like, do I, I have enough money? No, yeah, Shane said, oh, can I buy it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, Kian, I think I, Kian is hot. Um I haven't seen him that much to tell. Like we saw his Instagram, but there's no pictures of him. So he's always too far from the distance. But Tanner, you know what? Anybody with the name Kian, they deserve a Oh my a chance. God. Doesn't the name just Kian just sound so hot? And yeah. he's Irish and we know that Stu is hot. So I just think all Irishmen are hot. Of course. I mean, it sounds right to me. What did you think about the stalker? He really wants a stalker. He hasn't had a stalker since 2007. I think he's had stalkers that he doesn't realize really are stalkers. But oh, do you think he really did have a, a stalker? Like a really, like a true? That's kind of scary if so. I think anytime you have a stalker, it's bad. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, my Instagram name used to be Jeff Lewis Stalker. And of course, that's an inside joke that he's so hot, he deserves to have a stalker. Right. I did change it recently to Jeff Lewis Obsessed because... Frankly, I'm tired of being Instagram live banned. And maybe if I change my name from stalker to obsessed, it'll be, you know, better. Um, Kim says people were rude about Shane on one of the Facebook groups today. I didn't see uh, that, but I think some of the people on the Facebook groups are just so mean anyways, but I just don't think they should be so mean. Of course, but I'm like trying to think of what could they have possibly say if that he got tricked by some guy that was trying to play him on a date. That was terrible. You know what is funny is that I said, you know, you never want to be a paramedic fucker. You know what I mean? Paramedic fucker? Like fucking a paramedic? Yeah, because he's a paramedic. Because those guys are just as we're bad as cops. Sorry if you're a cop. Oh. We work at a coffee shop and all the cops used to come in. And we were like 18 and 17. And they were just super flirty and creepy. And they used to tell us about badge bunnies, which are women that chase men with badge Ew. And Stu and Jeff, firefighter, cop, paramedic. Oh. They're bunny, our badge bunnies. But we do hope that Chef Stu dresses up as a firefighter and Jeff Je dresses up as a police officer for Halloween, I don't think, we? I think Jeff as a cop with those glasses, sunglasses on. Like oh. Ray-Ban? No, and maybe Jeff some like um, aviator. I can't That's think of what kind of Ray-Ban aviators. Okay, okay. Yeah. And and then Stu he does it. Stu with the top off and just yep. the suspenders. Red and then those yellow plastic um pants. Yep. yep. Oh yep. shit. Oh my god. And then okay, Shane I'm manifest it. That would be so hot, so gorgeous. Stand up as a paramedic and give him CPR. It would be awesome. Do you even think okay, so if if Jeff is hosting this party, do you think they would be late to the party? And they might leave the party early. <laughs> yeah. What if the party is on BravoCon weekend? Oh, I don't think he would do that because so many of his chumps are going to come. I'm sure MJ is going to be invited and she's going to be in New York. Yes. Yeah. Lisa. I don't think he would do that. He also makes a good pilot, Lisa. He sure the he, he was already a pilot. That was pretty good, too. What was Scott? What was um uh, Shane that year? I don't remember. He dressed up for Halloween. He was what? Robin. In one, if you go back on Jeff Lewis' videos, yeah. you can see him dressed as Robin. I guess the 
costume was a little too small. Um, yeah. I don't remember what he was last year. That's hilarious. Um, so I thought it was really good that um, Jeff stayed. They agreed on when to stay. Heather McDonough will be in New York and we'll be there, won't we, Kim? Uh, <laughs> that he stayed until two minutes into Counting Stars and then they left. I think that's a I perfect... I love that. Perfect compromise. And if people they don't... compromised. Know, what a concept. I know. Jeff... Well, we should say Jeff compromised, too. Yeah, compromised. exactly. <laughs> uh, one Republic awesome awesome band and i agree they're not a very young people band but i love one republic they're they're very talented i love that um i love that jeff admits that he likes being recognized i think that's really sweet he's been famous for so long yeah so clearly you know he has to be recognized everywhere but i think it still excites him and makes him feel good i love that he admits that i think some celebrities don't want to admit it Right. So it's not that I think that he likes it. I love that he likes to admit it and talk uh, about it. And he's okay saying, hey, we're going to be here on this date, on this time. Because I think I even saw in a Facebook group somebody that said, I wasn't even going to go to this concert, but I went because I heard that Jeff and Stu were going to be here. Shoot, if you weren't going to go, give me your ticket first. Um, yeah. Well, absolutely. no, they went because they heard Jeff and Stu were going to be there, I'm saying. And what about that um, couple that won? I don't know, couple, but the people that won the polls. Yeah. Jeff was. I agree, though. I think it would be awesome if Jeff was able to host like a chump party and like fans got to either call in and win a ticket or uh, sign up for his on his. If you join him on his Instagram or something, I don't know. Yeah, like on um, radio morning shows, they've always done like ticket giveaways or yeah. Even I don't really know why Sirius hasn't jumped on that bandwagon because I think that's one of the things that draws listeners in. They have jumped on it with the polls. They just won't let Jeff Lewis do it. Of course, then again, his option was to give his people Botox. So I'm sure that. See, with Jeff, he, he's like the naughty little boy that you sit at his own desk for a little while until he improves. He... <laughs> Absolutely. He is on restrictions. He's always, in trouble. he's always in trouble. And he doesn't learn his lesson. And I sort of love that about him, don't you? I mean, it's just a classic five-year-old in my opinion. <laughs> I'm choking on my water. <clears throat> so Chef, chefs do, um, his daily weigh-in today was 227 pounds. So he's gained in a little relationship weight. Or maybe it's muscle. What Muscle does way more. And I think he does go to the gym. And Jeff was a swelled 196. So when was he over 200? It was on Sunday. I think that man can lose six pounds in a night. He said over 200 last night. Because what did he eat yesterday? Eggs right. and toast and six pieces and of bacon. Lunch, you know dinner, I, Chinese I, food. What I realized is like, Jeff, I feel like I know your diet and where you're making mistakes. You cannot have six pieces of bacon you cannot have two pieces of toast you cannot have two glasses of orange juice oh yeah the orange juice even um even that. zach was like you had two glasses of orange he, juice that is pure he, sugar he ate half a chicken which isn't that oh, bad yeah, right. ramp sauce then you're eating chinese food and all that sodium yeah that's what is queen chicken by the way i've never heard of queen chicken california chicken it's called they said queen something I thought they the said Chinese Cal food. California chicken. Stu is all muscle. Let me tell you. Stu is all muscle. Muscle weighs more. No, it was uh, California chicken, which I don't know if I was going to look up. And then whatever the, I guess, queen. But yeah, I mean, it, it sucks. I will tell you, I was just talking about this today with a friend at work. <clears throat> Men lose weight like that. Yep. Just like, oh, I'm not going to drink milk at dinner, or I'm not going to have a piece of candy that drop 10 pounds in a bit. That shit ain't fair. All I want to do is go to BravoCon and weigh less than Jeff Lewis. That's a good goal. Because I cannot stand that I weigh more than Jeff Lewis. Do you know how many? <laughs> oh, I've weighed more than Jeff Lewis before, for sure. Even yeah. not pregnant. Not pregnant, for sure. And you're tall, though. You're tall. I I got some like big Megan. 
whenever he gets on Megan about her weight, she's like, I'm tall. Like, leave me the fuck alone. I'm tall. And she's thin. We've seen her. She's tiny. beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Uh, she's definitely, she's definitely one of my late in life lesbian options. Her, Monica, Carrie, Heather, Kelly Dodd. Oh, thank you. Because yeah, I was like, all you have a lot of them. Brandy uh, Howard. All you like is blondes. Yeah. And very skinny. Oh, my well, God. Very skinny. <laughs> well, you've already said you wouldn't be my late in life lesbian yeah. person. So there's that. There's that. Um, what else? So this offer on the house, he they've already lowered the house. This was in the Beverly Hills, the post office one. I don't know. He didn't say exactly well, today. I think it's the same house, and he low he lowered. He gave him an offer of twelve percent lower. So I don't know if they're going to go for that. Are you talking about the house that had all those problems and the guy that got mad? No, the more the more recent one. No, Camille, I think he was having Chinese food. I think they yeah. called it queen chicken. I'm almost positive about that. Y'all, somebody tell me in comments if I'm right. I really thought it was California. But somebody said, yes, queen. Maybe they just meant, yes, queen. Yes. No, there was something else called queen, and I had a queen. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Yeah. I'm not always right about stuff. I'm almost never wrong. <laughs> it sounds like I said tell my husband something. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Get brain. Exactly. Oh my gosh, I love the quote. A thing queen. What the fuck? Is there not a California chicken? I'm right. Oh my God. I love that, Michelle. I'm right. I love hearing that so much. You're right, Sarah. Can you say that one more time? Type that one more time. <laughs> he had queen chicken at California chicken. Oh, well, shit. Bam! There we go. We're both right. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> I'm so glad it takes all of us to listen to the damn show to get all the details right. Exactly. There's so much that goes on in the show. It's it's really hard to get all the details. It's so fun. Can I tell you one quick thing? About yeah. We won an ice cream contest because we got the most PTO memberships. And yes. I, 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 I cornered parents in the parking lot. I was like, you got to fill up this. Oh, you're going to do it. And we freaking won it. Like Todd, I said, light him up. Light him up. Oh, my God. I love that. How much is your PTO dues at your school? $10. Okay, that's the same as Texas. I was just wondering. So that was all. It used to be seven years ago, but now it's uh -huh. $10 for all my kids. So yeah. uh, I don't believe Jeff eats only one meal a day. I think well, he might pigs out. Thank you, Kim. I think he pigs out and he... It, I think in the middle of the day, he picks out and it laughs. And he's just like, feels so guilty. He doesn't want to eat anything. But what it sounds think? like he's a snacker, right? Especially with the pretzels. Not that pretzels it's... are bad to snack on. I don't understand this pretzel thing. Like, what is he doing? Is he biting it like this? With his front? I know. I, I, I always use my back, like my kind of my side teeth to bite something well, like that. Think of is there those big, dark pretzels that's i mean yeah just bite the fucker i don't understand what the problem is he does snack at night i said and you and you saw a glass of milk that he loves dip that fucker in there because he's no. eating chocolate pretzels right he said dark i don't know what he meant he said dark i think pretzels. he's eating dark chocolate pretzels and i love those oh my god oh yeah, yeah. goldfish he eats those chips during the day with Shane that tastes like the guacamole and the salsa in them. What did he used to eat on flipping out? I know everything. Really... They would stop at the gas station and get snacks, right? Goldfish and something else. He likes almonds. Yep. I, as much of a sweet tooth. What do you think? I think. Oh, somebody said when you drink wine, you snack. And he does have wine. Well, he has martinis and that's vodka. I think anytime you're drinking, it lowers your inhibitions and you're like, oh, yeah. well, if you normally were like, I'm not going to have that. You're like, why not? Yeah, for sure. Oh, my gosh. Um, what about Zach's show? What Did you get the dates? I know. It, is it this weekend? I did my make a story. So if anyone is in the area, was it Santa Barbara? San Diego. Mic drop. San Diego, and I think it's August 26th and 27th, or 27th and 28th. I yeah. know he has a podcast that we both listen to called Good Morning Sodomites. I think it's on a hiatus right now, but today, 
um, Mercedes and Tommy's uh, podcast drops. I think it's technically Sunday at midnight. So I was Til- listening to it on Monday. No, but- Till the Dirt, T I L L the Dirt. Um, last week, it was about BravoCon 2019. So it was actually a really good episode for me and you now, since you're I- coming. I, to give I, you kind of an insight about what BravoCon is and all that kind of stuff. Today, it was kind of a mixture of some things. Like her, they talked about Vita, her mom. Uh, they talked about their son's first day of preschool being again today. Going back to school, they have a couple of hours of freedom. Uh, I, it, was, it was good. It's a good podcast. So let me know if you'll listen to it. When, and tomorrow, what's um, that? No, I was just going to say, she said Chance gets picked up at 11. I was like, I want that school day, 8 to 11. I know that's not much time though. Eight is early for a kid. When I did pre-K or Mother's Day out for my kids, it always started at nine. No, I think one of them did start at eight or eight thirty. Ours starts at seven fifty-eight. Well, I'm talking private pre-K or Mother's Day out, not oh. elementary, because uh, um, he's only three. Shams is three. Um, is- oh, Mother's Day out around here is like usually at a church, and it's usually stay-at-home moms like me. And it's usually 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., like two or three days a week. You can do all five days, but I never did that. I didn't know what that was. Okay, got it. Yeah. And then pre-K is more like you're paying more, like it's more like schooling, but it's still fun. Same hour, she's like, anyways, well, we're going to wrap it up because we are trying to keep this to about 30 minutes. But tomorrow, huh? I know, it's Carney Wilson and Megan. That should be so good. Carney's been a real big fan favorite lately. I love Carney. I want to try her her desserts. Come on, girl, get on it so we can try them. Okay, maybe tomorrow she'll talk to us about desserts because when she gave us the name last time and I looked it up, it said that the store was closed. What's the name again? I don't remember it now. Maybe she'll say it next time tomorrow. Dessert. Something about a bite. Little bites or something? It's something about tiny desserts. Something yeah. about that. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Well, you are going to put this up on your story and on your post. So any of our recent ones for the past 10 or 12 days since I've been Instagram live blocked are on your Instagram page at Jeff Lewis Chump. And any of the older ones are on my page, Jeff Lewis Obsessed. Yes. So check them out. And eventually, very soon, we'll have stuff up on our YouTube yeah. channel and something else, podcast maybe. Yes. Yes. Uh, and okay, well, again, I, yes. I say Jeff's teeth, they look so good. They look so natural too. Even the color looks so natural. And he's smiling. It's like, yeah. first, that's so funny. He needs to be able to smile. Well, I think he's smiling because chefs do. Oh, them too. He sounds so happy lately, and the music is so good. Wait, did they really have therapy on Friday, too? That's what he said, and they said it went really good, the best ever. That's just crazy to do that before a concert, but whatever. Did they have therapy twice last week, or was last week the... I don't know. I just, I don't know if Jeff had it on his own, and then Stu Friday. But they definitely had couples therapy on Friday, and he said it went the best ever. Because didn't he say that... um, Gypsy Rose had three doctor's appointments last week. I think he did have his own therapy session, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway. Well, let's hope Let's hope the UTI is getting better and they don't have to put the camera up as wiener, right? He has not been talking about that. He's been real quiet. No, he had a doctor's appointment today at 1120. For the past two weeks, he hasn't given us any updates. He's been real quiet about the UTI situation. So maybe oh, that's yeah. good. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the hearts. Yes. All right, okay, lady. Well- I will see you tomorrow. Thank you all for joining us. Thanks, guys. Bye.